The whole reason I got into this uh, solar panel hobby was to try and offset some of the current energy costs. Now there you can see my 250 and 375 uh, watt solar panels. They, uh, the 375 is fed into this uh, 500 watt uh, grid time inverter. And the 250 watt panel is dealt with by this 300 watt grid tie. Now that gets extremely hot, so I put a fan on the top and I've just slightly offset it off the top of the board um, so the air can circulate around. Now the fan itself is running 24 7 and it's fed by this charge controller which is just connected to a lead acid battery. And uh, I don't really worry too much. These wires underneath. They're dead, they need removing, uh, it's an old project. Now, when I need energy in the house, uh, I run an extension cord connected to the Victron 500, and that does me good. Now, there's my smart energy meter at the moment, and you can see um, my current energy, uh, what I'm producing from the solar panels. Not a great deal at the moment, because the clouds are over the sun. So, um, and I've got everything on in the house at the moment. So I've got my TV on, my CCTV, and a couple of laptops running, um, and it was still only 122 watts. But if I turn them off, or one of these panels off, uh, you will see that the energy in the house, the wattage, starts to increase. Um, so most of the time, I will um, keep both of them on. Um, but if we do, um, let me have a look. Sorry, at the moment we're producing 75 and 82, 87, it goes up. But um, what I normally do is, um, oh, and that one's produced 137 now. And the wattage has come right down to 26. The sun's obviously come out outside and it's dropping even more. And um, the brighter the sun ha uh, comes on it, it, to the panels, it, uh, the lower the wattage will be. So in a moment you will see it drop to zero which is the there we go which is actually what I want to achieve as close to that or zero throughout the whole day um, but just sometimes it doesn't always happen and um, I end up pushing energy back to the grid which obviously I don't want because I'm not on a contract um, to pay them any money so I then normally turn off one of the solar panels or turn on something else in the house like a washing machine or a tumble dryer. Now I'm not too sure whether my smart meter knows the difference between consumption or production. So when I'm pushing back, am I getting charged for this? Comments would be greatly appreciated if anyone knows.